We have had only three days with highs in the 60s over the last 90 days, but tomorrow looks like a day that many of us could see highs only in the 60s. I'm forecasting 70, but I think much of the day will be spent in the 60s, especially once the rain moves in. We'll see upper 60s to lower 70s, mid to upper 70s on Sunday, and then some cooler weather will return once again as we head into the middle part of next week. Right now, we do have a lot of 60s out there, especially near Lake Michigan, 68 degrees in Manitowoc and Kewanee. Further inland, temperatures are still in the lower to mid 70s. In Appleton, it is now cloudy and 68 degrees in Green Bay after a lot of sunshine throughout the morning and early afternoon. The clouds are thickening up across the area. The temperature is 69 and the dew point is coming in at a comfortable 54 degrees. The clouds that we have out there right now are not doing anything, but the clouds off to our west are. You can see a large area of rain and showers from western Iowa up into Minnesota and that area of precipitation is slowly working off towards the east. So high pressure has been our main weather maker uh, for this month up to this point, but now we've got an area of low pressure that's going to slowly work across the state over the next couple of days, producing a lot of clouds and that on and off chance for some rain. With the sunshine today, we had 70s, but where it was cloudy and raining, temperatures were only in the 60s. So tomorrow, I'm forecasting a high right around 70, but I think once again, as the rain moves in, temperatures will fall back into the mid and upper 60s. Here's a look at Skycast showing cloudy skies tomorrow morning, a chance for a shower, maybe a a little dim sunshine out there as well, but then the chance for rain will be going up as we make our way into the afternoon and evening. That final uh, shot you saw there was seven o'clock and <laughs> it showed a lot of wet weather, which brings us to your my 32 sports showdown game of the week tomorrow evening kickoff seven o'clock between Pulaski and Preble. We're not going to have to deal with thunderstorms like we did last week, but there's a pretty good chance for rain with temperatures in the lower to mid 60s. Now that rain will continue into Saturday. It looks like the showers will be numerous during the morning, gradually tapering off by the early afternoon, perhaps a little bit of sunshine as well before the sun goes down. And right now the rain over the next couple of days is not expected to be heavy. It looks like most spots will probably end up with around a tenth to maybe around a quarter of an inch of rain. So your forecast for tonight calls for thickening clouds, much warmer than the last couple of nights. Lows in the 50s to around 60. Tomorrow, clouds and showers with highs right around 70, but much of the day will be spent in the 60s. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 70. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to feed and clothe my people. And we did that today. I forecast 74. The actual high temperature was 75 degrees. Showers tapering off to sprinkles, maybe some late day sunshine on Saturday. Sunday and Labor Day right now looking pretty nice. A decent amount of sunshine, just a slight chance for a shower. Highs in the 70s, a better chance of more showers and maybe a thunderstorm coming in on Tuesday. As long as the weekend's not a washout, I think we're doing okay and it looks like no. it's not going to be. No, Sunday and Monday definitely the best two days of the three-day weekend. All right, Cameron, thank you. Well, coming up here for us after the effects of her